Bonnie. This is Laura. And I'm out of practice. So, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's been a while since I filmed. Today I am going to do a bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. And I'm going to do Bren's Raw Beauty video tag. Because um, it just suits what I'm going to do today. <laughs> and I wanted to support um, Bren's tag because... Um, Bren from Bren's Beauty Boutique, which I will put her links down below, is um, a great person. I love to watch her and she hasn't been um, filming so much just lately because um, her camera broke, but um, she's, she's such a wonderful person and she does great videos, so I would encourage you, if you don't already know her, to go and have a look. But the idea of this tag is you do your makeup and no editing whatsoever so you see everything so i have put, done my skincare and i've got my um sunscreen on but that's as far as i've got usually i've done my eyebrows and prepped my eyes and i just start in with my eyeshadow but today since it's the raw beauty video tag i thought i wouldn't do that so um i have not been around for a while which you might have noticed i'm gonna attempt to do my eyebrows while I talk which could be fun. I'm going for a natural look today for two reasons. It's the middle of summer here and um, it's too hot to wear very much makeup and also I'm wearing, I don't know whether you can see, I'm wearing leopard print so I think um, something fairly natural would be a good idea and I also wanted to use my BH opalescent because I've hardly used it and I do really want to use it but it lends itself to very natural kind of looks so. but um, I took January off and I will talk about why I did that I wasn't actually planning on doing that it's just kind of the way it worked out and um, when I thought about it, once I got into the month, I thought, well, really, I don't actually have time to do much filming, so I may as well take some time off, which has been great. Now, I've just been using my LA Girl Shady Slim pencil for my eyebrows, and this one is in, if I can find the name, so these are the bits that I usually cut out because I can never find the name of them. This is in Brunette, and I need to buy another one because I'm down to my very last eyebrow product and then I'm going to get my trusty concealers if you've watched me at all you would recognize this and I haven't done my update on my team project Pam but um, I've stopped marking and I haven't actually used these all month so this will be the first time that I've used them since I've stopped marking but um, yes I am still using them <laughs> But but they're really getting down there. So they they will run out. <laughs> they're not gonna be never ending. So I'm just I'm not really carving out, I'm just tidying up a little bit. And I'd use the other one on the top. To just tidy up the top of my brows. And then I'll use my eye primer and I, at the moment I'm using the Milani one which I've been using for a while now but I don't want to open a new one until I finish this one because I can't see any point in having more than one eye primer on the go. Now, even though it's the middle of summer, I've still been getting some hay fever, so I've got a bit of dry skin just here that we're going to ignore and pretend it's not there. So 
there is my eyes prepped for my eyeshadow. So we had a nice Christmas. It's been so long that I haven't even done a Christmas update. We did have a nice Christmas. My brushes, oops, sorry. My brushes are not clean because I am about to clean them and I thought I'll just use them first. <laughs> and my nails, again, are not done because it was like, well, do I do my nails or do I just get on and get this video done because I've been meaning to do it for the last week and I haven't got around to filming. So I just thought, no, nah, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> And I think I'm going to start with not that brush <laughs> after cleaning it. I'm just wiping it on my cloth. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this one called Dainty. And I'm using my Real Techniques brush. It's the Instapop brush and it's got a little angle on it I've just put some shadow on it and I'm gonna go in the crease yep that's the color I wanted it's good when um, <laughs> you put it on and you think oh yeah that is the color I wanted because sometimes you put stuff on and you go no that's not the color I was thinking that was gonna be And it's early in the morning, so this eye is more droopy than this eye because it's just my eyes in the morning. And as the day goes on, I get less of a sag. <laughs> so if I film later on, it's usually um, less saggy. <clears throat> Got my sparkling water. Most people seem to start their day off with coffee. I do not. I start my day off with sparkling water but that is a fairly new development <laughs> I used to start it off with a tea but not anymore so <laughs> I'm gonna use flutter which is this just a cream one just for blending out the top there so we had a had a good Christmas it was very quiet because it was just us like it was just the family no extended family, apart from my dad came over in the evening, but then he lives right here, so he spent the morning down at the um, nurse's home with my mum. We went and visited her in the morning, but we didn't have Christmas lunch there. We came home and had lunch here. And I had my eldest girl home from university. So um, she she was going to summer school, so she didn't have very long at home. So I took the opportunity to just you know, chill out and spend some family time together, which is why I didn't film in early January. And then I had about a week before we had to go away to Auckland. Which the cat just deciding it wants to come in. I'm gonna go. Hmm, I think I'll go with. Gorgeous. It may not be warm enough, but I'm gonna go and I think I'll be alright. So, um I only had a week between when she was leaving and going up to Auckland. Now, she um she is at university in Auckland, so we were taking her up there, but we also had stuff to do up there because um we had some medical stuff for my husband. If you can hear something, that's the cat opening the door. So he's come in. <laughs> so he could be a nuisance, but we will see. <laughs> uh, I want a flat brush. What do I want? Oh, one of these ones. And now he's clawing the floor. Oh, he's gone out again now. I'm sure you wanted a running commentary on what the cat was doing. <laughs> I'm going to use Dreamer, which is a shimmer. A very kind of pale apricotty colour. It's pretty but it's very subtle. I might need to spray my brush. Which I'll do later when I've 
finish the inside of my eyes. What am I going to put on the inside? I think I'm going to go with Star, which is this cream shimmer. And I'm going to put that on the inner. So as I said, I was going for a fairly subtle look. It's actually was catching on that dry skin, but let's put my brush in the wrong colour. <laughs> Yeah, so we were going up to Auckland for some medical stuff. We were see, visiting a holistic doctor up there for my husband because um, you may or may not know that my husband is sick. He has a brain tumour and has seizures. And um, they can't do anything else for him with conventional medicine. They're just doing a wait and see because he's, he's had a debulking and things and um, they couldn't get it all out and they didn't want to do chemotherapy because they were saying it was or radiotherapy is what they, they were calling it um, because he would lose function because of where the tumour is and he would never get that back and at the moment he um, can use that function like talking and understanding what you're saying and <laughs> being able to watch a little bit of TV and being able to read a bit and he would lose a lot of that. So um, they they didn't so much as say but they kind of implied that it it was up to us but it, you know might be better to wait. So we, we decided we would wait for, for doing that. So basically they're waiting for him to get worse in terms of the tumour to grow more and do another debulking and possibly do chemotherapy or radiotherapy then. And um, so we're just looking for other things we can do in the meantime to slow the process down. <coughs> so we're still using conventional methods, but we're including holistic methods as well. powdery but not not too bad I'm the only one that uses this so it's okay if I blow on it <laughs> now I'm going to spray my brush after I'm gonna put some dreamer on it which I put in the middle and spray see if it makes any difference a little bit, not a lot though. A tiny bit, a tiny bit of difference. Hardly noticeable, really. Just seems to smooth it out a bit so that it's uh, just a little more blended looking. So, anyway. <laughs> back to what I was saying. So I decided I only had a week between Melissa going home. Well, we so she only she was only here for a short time. This is where I'd usually cut because my thinking has not been quite clear. <laughs> but I can't cut because I'm not supposed to. So anyway, we didn't have any time between I didn't have a week. I didn't have any time between Melissa being home and going up to Auckland. And then we can't then when we we weren't sure how long we were going to be up there because there were some things they wanted to do up there with my husband. And excuse me, yeah, I'm gonna cough and this is another bit I would cut out normally. <coughs> so um and then we only had just under a week before we went away for camping for 12 days. So um, I made the decision early on in January that I just wasn't going to film because there was no time to really get into it. I didn't want to feel really rushed either. So um, I just decided not to film. I'm just looking for a little brush. So we had, had a lovely time with Melissa here and my youngest girl really enjoys having her older sister home and they all, I haven't got my microphone. Okay, you might be able to hear me better now. 
can you hear me better now? <coughs> and um, so that was great. And then we went up to Auckland, dropped Melissa off at university, and we stayed with my husband Fred's friends the first night. Oh, it's gone very. Silly eyes. So I'm just doing some brown pencil. I do not like this pencil because it's not very soft. What is it? That's the Rimmel one. I'm not too impressed with it. I'm gonna use. Mystic, which is a dark brown. Very mysterious colour, this dark brown. <laughs> so we stayed, we went and saw um, my husband's friend and had a lovely visit, and then they let us stay at their beach house at Hulia. And then we went to the in laws my husband's parents after that and some of it was okay with the holistic doctor some of it worked out quite well and some of it did not work out well at all <laughs> so we, we knew we were going to do um, oxygen therapy while we were there but um, when we arrived, they said, oh, we're going to put you in the infrared sauna first. And we weren't expecting that. And it threw Paul for a bit of a loop. Because he doesn't like unexpected things at the moment. And um, he thought, oh, okay, uh, I'll give it a go. And he was in there for about... Because it was already hot. And it's like, a, it's like a pod that you go in and your head just sticks out. So he got in there and closed it up and about three seconds later he's going, I don't like this. I don't think this is a good idea. And then he started to panic and I was like, no, I want to get out. So they took him out and um, basically he did not do well after that and he ended up having quite a major seizure. So um, that was not good. <laughs> they. So we, we went back um, a couple of days later once he settled down a bit and put him through the oxygen therapy and that was that was okay and that did seem to help a bit because normally when he has a seizure he loses all his language and it takes him months and months to recover but he recovered quite quickly this time so there was one good thing about that. I'm just cleaning up the edges a bit. making sure things are blended. This bit's not quite right because of the flaky skin, but it's just gonna stay like that. That's just too bad, too sad. Yeah, so, so that, that wasn't great. And they did a test where they take um, some hairs out of different parts of his head and they send it off for testing and then they tell you basically what kind of nutrients and things you're short of or what's wrong with you. So apparently he has um, adrenal gland fatigue, um, he has he heavy metal toxins and what else was there? Oh, he's not processing fats and he, um, he needed a protein powder as well. Now... You may think, oh, he's not processing fats, what, what's the problem there? Well, we've been recommended by more than one person, and we are using a dietitian as well, to use keto, because keto helps with um, seizures, and it's good for brain tumors, <laughs> sorry, for co cognitive function and things, it, it helps with things like that. So we have started doing keto, and keto is a high fat, low carb diet. So if he's not processing fat, it's a problem. <laughs> but we hadn't been doing keto for very long. So I suspect 
part of that was because his body just hadn't adapted yet. And um, we don't want him to lose lots of weight because he's actually quite skinny at the moment because um, he was on steroids for about a year and we finally got him off the steroids. And once he went off the steroids, the weight just fell off him and he got quite thin. We've actually been doing the keto for just over a, a month now and um, he has lost a bit of weight, not too much, but um, I'm doing it with him. But the challenge is I do want to lose some weight, but we don't want him to lose weight. So I have to try and juggle what we're eating so that he eats a lot more and slightly different than what I'm eating so that I lose weight and he doesn't. <laughs> In fact, we'd quite like him to put on weight, but I haven't succeeded with that yet. I think he's, he lost a bit when we first went on it, but that could have been water weight that he lost. And um, he seems to be holding now, but we're not increasing. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to um, use my Pretty Fresh from Colourpop Primer. I'm at 21 minutes already. This is why I normally edit and I speed up things because I'm slow. I talk lots and I often cut out a lot of it. So I better hurry up a bit. <laughs> and I'm also going to spray my face. And I'm just using my um, Body Shop Coco Calming Face Mist. Yeah, so then we came back from Auckland feeling a bit shattered and I'm going to drop in my mirror. I'm going to use my Pretty Fresh Colourpop Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturiser, but I'm going to mix it with my L'Oreal Healthy Glam in light. This is light. I'll show you how dark this is for being light. Look how dark that is. That's the lightest one you can get. <laughs> it's not really light which is why I mix it with the other one. And we came back feeling a bit shattered and then we had just under a week to get ready for our beach holiday and we camp. So I was getting all the camping stuff and you have to take away food and blankets and pots and pans and all the rest of it. And we were borrowing Dad's camper van so that makes it a little bit easier but we have to take a tent as well because there's, we're taking Elise, my youngest, with us. We were trying to get a friend. Last year we got a friend to go with her, but we couldn't get a friend this year, so she was disappointed. But <laughs> we tried hard <laughs> and we couldn't get one this year, but never mind. But that's why we have a tent and a camper van. And before we left, Paul was looking dreadful and we almost didn't go because I just wasn't sure. Uh, but I thought um, it would actually be good for him just to relax and get away from things for a bit. So we did go. I I drove the camper van in that, so he didn't have to... Well, he, could, he couldn't drive because he had a seizure. It's a manual, and... I learned in a manual, but I've been driving automatics for ages, so it's not the easiest thing to drive, but <laughs> and it's quite old. But we were really lucky to be able to use it, so I, I was happy to um, have it. And so we, we went on holiday. We had a great time, actually. The first few days, the weather was pretty crappy. The, the tent didn't break until the weather improved, so that was a good thing. <laughs> so we've had to get rid of the tent because one of the inner poles broke. It was one of that's one of those tents where it has the inside and then the outside, and one of the poles broke and ripped through the cover. But luckily, we had um, some waterproof tarpaulin that we could put over the tent. And it didn't rain or get windy after that. <laughs> so that worked out all right. And 
Paul looked so much better when we got back. He was so much more relaxed and things. So um, we've decided we're going to go away in the van a bit more. And we have actually been away since we've been back. We, we had a couple of weeks at home. And um, then we went away in the weekend just being. And we just went to a free camp and um, had some downtime. No, no power, no water, no, no nothing like that. So you just, you're in the van. It's a self-contained van. So um, there's bucket baths and no, no internet or anything. So my youngest didn't come because she decided she was not going to enjoy it. Yeah, we played games and read books and um, went for lots of walks and it was right on the beach and it was really nice. We, we, we had a really nice relaxing time. And um, we're going to do it again this weekend, except we're going to go somewhere different. <laughs> so this is where I'm at. Now, a little bit of a spiel, although um, I don't know whether I should because of the time factor, but um, the pretty fresh stuff I have. What did I do with the concealer? I just used it. Oh, here it is. It's hiding behind my phone. So, um, I like the primer. The primer seems to work okay. It, it's, it's a hydrating primer, so that's what it does. It doesn't make your makeup, well, it doesn't make my makeup last any longer, but it's, it's hydrating, it's nice, I like it. This, if I use it by itself, I may as well not have any thing on at all. It's, it's definitely a tinted moisturiser, but... I've, I've got the colour right for me, I think, but it just doesn't, it just seems to sink into my skin and it looks like I'm wearing nothing <laughs> at all. It doesn't cover enough for me. I've seen other people using it online and it, it covers their skin a bit more than mine. I don't know why it doesn't seem to cover mine, but I really like it mixed with this and I really like it mixed. My favourite way to mix it is with the Matte and Paulus from Maybelline. These these two make a lovely combination for summer. So I have found ways to use it, but on its own, if it's like if I want a no makeup makeup look and I want to pretend I'm actually wearing some makeup, I can put this on, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything at all. Really, I don't really think it evens out my skin tone or anything. But when I mix it with other things, it just lightens the formula up. Of the other things and it's nice and hydrating it does stay sticky on your face so you do need to um, powder it unless you're using cream products so today I'm going to use cream products and got a little here so I'm going to use cream products so I'm going to use a cream blush if I can find my brush I use a stipple brush I'm going for a, because I'm going for a fairly natural look, I'm not going to contour. It's, this sounds familiar, doesn't it? Because when I did my my last video, which was the one using the Blue Moon palette, and I collab with Nona and Angie, I did the same thing. I just wanted something fairly natural, and I used my cream blush, and I didn't contour or anything. And what do I want for highlighter? I, I've never used, this is the Horse and Carriage Highlighter by Colourpop. I've never used this without powdering, so we'll see what happens. brush which hasn't got anything on it. Yeah, that's better. And then I'm 
I'm going to spray it with the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. I do like the setting spray. I think the setting spray is nice. So, in it, I'm not sure about the concealer. I find it goes a little bit cakey on me because my skin is old and wrinkly, <laughs> probably. <laughs> But so, I, I, re I really like this. I like this. This is okay if I mix it with other things, but I don't think I'd buy it again. If, if you had a teenager who wanted to wear makeup and you didn't really want them to wear makeup, this would be good. <laughs> and I haven't decided. This is okay. For me, it's okay. It's not. Well, this is fantastic, and it's not, this is terrible, it's just, this is okay. So, yeah, that's what I was doing all January, and I decided that filming just didn't fit in. I'm going to put some mascara on, so I'm using my Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara, and this is a little sample that I got. And I changed, I changed the pictures in the background, just... So you'd have something different to look at. The um, the sunflowers are the ones that the beautiful Kelly Weasley made me, and she sent me with a swap box, which I thought was so sweet. So those are up there, and uh, I've put something in front of the card. <laughs> that was that's just my iPad falling off because my desk is very small. <laughs> There's another bit I'd usually cut out. And I usually cut this bit out too because it's boring watching people put mascara on. On a wayward lash here that wants to go in a different direction to all the others. It's a bit of a rebel. Oh, that's not going to do anything. It's not going to behave itself, so we're going to ignore it. And the other thing that you never see me do on camera normally, because I cut it out, is I get it cotton bud, and I just make sure we're tidy under there after I've put my mascara on. Now. I might do in a corner. Let me have a look. What, what, what do I want to do? Now, normally I go light in a corner, but I'm actually going to go for dazzle and see what that looks like. Because it's a pretty colour. If you can see that. doesn't really show up that well, but never mind. I just thought it would echo this colour here, but be a bit lighter. Put it under there a bit. Which it does. I'm going to cough again. <coughs> <coughs> That's because of the hay fever. I haven't got a cold, it's just hay fever. I don't get asthma either, it's just... Hay fever, and normally hay fever season has well and truly finished by now, so it's really annoying that it hasn't. <laughs> and I think if I can find it, can't see it. Here it is. I'm also going to use my Elizabeth Arden Stand Innovation mascara on top. Not on my bottom lashes, just on the top lashes. Because one of them gives length and one of them gives volume, so... I want both. I want length and volume. So there you go. And now I just need some lipstick. And... I'm going to use my Rimmel lipstick in the Cake 43 one, which you've seen lots because I've 
was using it in my project pan because it's the perfect colour to go with a thigh lock. And I'm not using lip liner today. There we go. And that is my makeup look for today. And my raw beauty tag from Bren. My raw beauty video tag or my raw video tag. I can't quite remember which way around she um, named it and that would be another thing that I would look up because I, I wrote some notes but I forgot to write exactly what she called it because some people have been calling it the raw beauty tag but I think she called it the raw video tag because I think she was saying oh you don't have to be a beauty you don't have to do a beauty one if you don't want to you could just do any any kind of video. <laughs> so um, as I said I will leave Brian's information down below because I'm not editing so I won't put it in cards or anything and um and, and I'm back <laughs> so um because I'm going to be going away a few weekends while it's summer and the weather's good I might not post quite as regularly for a little while but I'll be I'll be in and out as much as I can and I will give an update I will do my project pen update final <laughs> Although you already know I didn't finish something. <laughs> and, um, and and catch you up on what I'm doing this year and tell you a little bit about my experiences with keto. And I know um, Miss Mischief is also doing keto. She's just started, so we'll probably do um, some collab videos on that. And um, I'll tell you what my New Year's resolutions are going to be and things later on. So we are at 37 minutes, so I'm going to sign off here because that's quite long enough. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.